previously on. I'm just gonna... Mm, what? Sneak around at this point? Maybe? Mm, yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna sneak around at this point. Piper? Oh my god, she's underwater. She's being attacked. Holy shit. Oh, look at that. So many dead bodies. Oh, the bodies hit the floor. Oh, the bodies hit the floor. What the hell is going on? Our caravan's under attack by hostile robots. They need some serious help. We're just east of Watts Consumer Electronics. Anyone in the vicinity can come help. Now's the time. Ada, loop this message. I guess we're here. Holy shit, this is a war zone. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's a whole bunch of them! What the hell? Oh shit. Oh lord. Shit, I'm injured. I am so injured. Oh lord. Huh. Yeah. My leg. Shit. Okay. So, we walked into a fucking... World War... Robots type of situation. I followed the radio signal to here, and it's just crazy shit. Look at this. Son of a bitch! Oh lord! Oh, the radiation I just took! Oh my goodness! Thank god for, m for mods, because I know I would've been fucked. Okay, so it looks like everyone is dead. You're Ada? My friends did not survive the attack. Thank you for assisting. I was certain to meet my end here as well. Oh my god, Bendito! Are you okay? Physically, the damage is minor. But I am registering sadness and anger at the loss of my friends. It may sound strange coming from a robot, but they were my family. Again, I thank you for your efforts. I know they would have thanked you as well. Oh my god! All oh, the feels! I'm sorry for your loss. My name is Ada. This was the third time we've been attacked by robots like these. Even with the weapon and detection upgrades Jackson gave me, I was unable to defend them. Damn, what the fuck? Who's Jackson? Jackson was the leader of this caravan. He had a great mind for technology. In many ways. He is my creator. He installed all my current upgrades. Unfortunately, they were not enough to protect them from the robots. Honey, I hope you're not blaming yourself for it. It's not your fault. Tell me about these robots. They roam the Commonwealth and claim to be restoring order. We've seen them fighting raiders, but they've also attacked innocents, settlers, merchants, and caravans like ours. We knew we ran the risk of encountering more of these hostile robots if we stayed in the Commonwealth. If only we had made the decision to leave. So why did you end up staying? Our caravan specialized in mechanical repairs and trade. The Commonwealth has an abundance of salvage that would benefit our business. It was a calculated risk. You couldn't have known something like this would happen. The Even if it was calculated. Was high. I should have forced our departure. In oh, recompense, Lord. I will seek justice for my friends and stop these robots from causing further harm. It's time to uncover the source and confront their leader, the Mechanist. The Mecha what? Who's the Mechanist? The only information I have comes from the iBot broadcasts. The false claims of peace and justice. The only certainty is that these robots bring only death. 
You have shown willingness to aid others. I ask that you please assist me in stopping this mechanist. In return, I can give you the schematics to build your own robot workbench, so you have additional resources in this undertaking. You want revenge, don't you? I admit my goal is twofold. Stopping the mechanist both protects the Commonwealth and allows me to avenge my fallen friends. As you I should. I won't rest until I see this threat dissolved. I owe it to them. Now, we last saw a group of the mechanist robots at the General Atomics factory. You may find information there that will lead us to the mechanist. I will follow and assist with your permission. Are you sure you're up for it? Yes. I will not rest until the mechanist is stopped. Yeah. Let's go, Ada. General Atomics has valuable salvage. Chances are high the robots are still there. Alright, well, I'm going to definitely have Ada with me as a companion. So, Piper, I'll definitely send you over to Sanctuary Hills. So, after we're through with the whole mechanist thing, I'll definitely come get you right there. Alright, hon. I'll see you later, okay? Holy shit. Is that? Oh, that's Jackson. Right. Um. I mean, he's not really gonna need this anymore, but since he has a hollow tape, I'm definitely going to check it out. We ran into some hostile robots today. They were pieced together, like the ones we've been making in that workbench. Weird thing is, one of them was spouting something about the mechanist. That they're here to protect the Commonwealth. Yeah. Protected my ass. Damn. We managed to lose them. Those things were dangerous. Shades and I went back and picked up an arm we shot off. Whoever's making these things is an expert. Maybe even be on my level. I'll have to look into upgrading Ada and Hertz for some better protection. Zoe, Zoe's diary. Let me take a look at this. See what this is all about. Okay, so welcome to Robo Industries TM Termlink Zoe's private diary. Warning, if your name is not Zoe and you are reading this, then you are dead. How ironic because I'm still alive and you're dead. Alright, let me take a look here. So, I decided to start keeping a diary in this little hollow tape. I thought it would be cool to only update it at different terminals. Kind of like my own little collection. Although, half the time, I have no idea where we are. Navigation's not really my thing. I leave that up to the bots. Today, we stopped by this decent looking salvage yard. It's impressively not gross and overrun with furls like the last one. Lisa helped me fix up this terminal so I could get down to business. Anyway, I think Ada and I got some pretty good defenses set up for now. We have enough supplies for a bit so I imagine we'll give this place a pretty good once over. I really need to find some good things to trade if I want a new pair of gloves anytime soon. Raiders are dumb. I like to think that people like us are safe based just on their stupidity alone. They tried to steal something off Porter last night. A goddamn luggage totting sentry bot. Porter wasted two of them. Another one set off a tripwire while running away. And the last one, we think, tripped and just impaled himself on his own knife? Yikes, okay. That definitely is a, a 1,000 ways to die type of accident. That's why you don't run with sharp objects. Of course, waking up to gunfire isn't very cool either. I think it's time we moved on. We found this pretty cool factory with some decent pr protectron parts, so Jackson is all hell-bent on making this little bodyguard robot. He's been working on it with shades all day. I'm thinking of naming it Hertz. <laughs> That's cute. I can't wait. I love Protectrons. 
protect and serve. Oh, and totally authorized to use deadly force 24-7. In the meantime, Ada and I set up the usual defenses, and then she helped me dig around for fuses and stuff. Not that I'm lazy, but robots are the best when you don't do heavy lifting or feel like carrying stuff around. So here we are at this rundown mom and pop repair store when we find this traitor hiding in the closet. He said he thought we might be raiders and just hid there for an entire day and night. Damn, that's hardcore. And yeah, it's as gross as you might think because closets don't have toilets. Or toilet paper for that matter. Ew, he shed it himself? Anyway, he said we're pretty near this era called the Commonwealth that we might want to check out. Said it's got a few decent places for trading as well as an old general atomics factory. I think Jackson's all excited at the idea of upgrading Turney. That old Mr. Handy has seen better days. You're not going to believe it, but we stopped in a department store. It's like a dream come true. I already found some new gloves and boots, not to mention a pair of sunglasses that will make Shades owe me huge favors. I'm pretty sure I can get him to take all my night watches for at least a week to get the to get these babies. Turing has the rest of the fruit charted to the Commonwealth. We also heard there is a place there called Diamond City. But yeah, not what you think. Apparently it's some sort of old-timey sports stadium. Could be fun, though. It would be nice to check in with another large settlement soon. Ah, damn. So they were on their way to Diamond City when they were attacked. Damn! Oh my god, poor Ada. And they just... kill them. Robot repair kits repair robot companions down in combat. Well, in that case, I'm gonna get as much repair robot repair kits as fast as possible then, just in case. Alright, so... Clearly, they were ambushed, which sucked, and Ada was the last survivor. I know she low-key blames herself, but at the end of the day, there's only so much she can do, so... Let's see what's the next step here. Investigate General Atomics Factory. Huh. Well, in that case, let's go. Alright, so the store should be over here somewhere. Let me pull out my piece just in case if we run into any annoyances. Like this Merlick. Yeah, me too, Ada. Me too. No, I'm okay. Oh my god, you're such a midget. I love this. Okay. You know, I thought... Codsworth was the only robot... ...companion that I was able to get, but... ...hopefully with this mission right here, I'll be able to have her as a... ...permanent companion as well. Oh, come on. I'm a, I'm a tiptoe. I can't. Nothing, mind your business, thank you. I'm not in the mood to deal with any... I'm not in the mood to deal with any type of super mutant. At all. Like, I'm not. Yo, I love the way she runs, it's so cute. Alright, I guess we are here. I don't know what I'm expecting at this point, but fuck it. What the fuck is he saying? Alright, Ada, so... I'm gonna open up this door here. Please back me up. Woo! What the hell? Oh my god. This robot lasered me. 
son of a bitch! Bullshit! Who hit me? Oh, you little... That's what you get. Oh, lord. Oh, lord! Robot kit? Yep, I'ma get that. Damn, Ada, I see her. Now this one's gonna be annoying, so I'ma just get that robot here. Done. My head, my head! Oh, let me do a stimmy right here. What? Do you hear this bullshit? Seems like this mechanist has a god complex. Age of peace, my ass. Look what your robots are doing. Shooting me. Next. Oh, shit. A legendary one? Nope. Not my watch. Fuck out of here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, Lord! Oh, my God. I took mad radiation. How am I alive? Soltron head. Hmm. Oh, Ada! Shit. I got you. I got you. It's okay. Come on. Wake up. Please. We're not done here. Oh my god. Yeah, we're definitely not done. These robots are a pest. I guess swear to god. Huh. Yeah, I feel like the mechanist... Whoever this mechanist person is, they clearly don't know what they're doing. Holy shit. Okay, that's nice. That's really nice. Alright, Ada. You do you, and I'll do this. This is perfect. Like, we're getting rid of each and every single one of them. You okay? We've never been to this particular factory before, but once Jackson spotted the mechanist robots, we turned around immediately. Hmm, okay. So, in that case, we need to dive in deep to see exactly. We Give us more chip and shit. Yep, I see it. <laughs> You're funny, you know that? I like this Ada character. Alright, so... I'm going upstairs because I know there's more to it than that. Won't be able to pick this. Damn it. And there's nowhere for me to... Ooh, what's this? Perfect. Doing a bit of light reading to pass the time? Um, I do enjoy reading Ada whenever I have the, the time, but other than that... Huh. Alright, so let's go this way. Bathroom... Nope, nothing here for me to pick. And it's just bathrooms. Okay. Uh, let's go through here. Yeah, I must see if I can get to the top over there at this point. Like, do a nice little jump. Okay. So I'm gonna do a quick jump here. Boom. Please. No. Oh, come on. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna do a little bit of quick hacking here. So don't mind me. You know, I like to speed hack a little bit. 
no, that's not it. I'm trying to see which word here is the proper password. That way I can open up this door. Because clearly going upstairs does not work at all. Because either I'm too clumsy or I'm not able to go through due to the game limiting my abilities of of going anywhere. Okay. And this mechanist person literally is so annoying. A god complex, high mighty, holier than thou type of personality. I bet this mechanist has a real punchable face. Alright, so I see that there's nothing else to eliminate these dummy words. Because I'm not trying to put in the wrong password and then I get left out, you know? Alright, so I know band doesn't work, so I'm gonna try this one. Nope. Salt? No. Alright, one more. You ready? Hopefully this works. Fuck. Terminal has locked you out. You know what? Fuck off. I'm gonna try again. This is horrible. I hate this. Alright, the jump button is this way. Jump. Cool. And, um, why did I do that? Why did I do- mm, I'm sorry. I tend to be all over the place with certain things, so- Alright, I'm gonna jump. You ready? Jump. And then I'm gonna jump again. Whee! Alright, I'm here. Okay, let me see here. Ah, what is this? Found you. I like how you're shooting at me right behind this door, like... Talk about being a chicken shit. Alright. Let's go, I'm ready. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh boy. Ooh, what the hell did that thing do to me? I know I'm okay. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, let me try and eliminate the two other robots first. Alright, got that. What the hell? Are you okay? Program for love? Oh, I went down the hole, of course. Of course I went down the hole. I mean, Robo... Robo... At least you're honest. I appreciate your honesty. Like... Alright, so we eliminate all the robots, which is fantastic. Question is, how the fuck do I get upstairs? Like, how do I get upstairs? How did I get upstairs? Hold on. Oh, I forgot the stairs. Anyways, being that I just killed this robot, let's just take a look here. What? What do I do? Ah! Got it. Ada, I got the little transmitter, so I'll bring it over to you so we can take a look here. Hey! How may I be of service? Hey, Ada! Did you retrieve something from that robot? It had this strange device on it. Let's have a look. Impressive technology. If my analysis is correct, this is a specialized radar beacon. I suspect it's how the mechanist was keeping track of the robo-brain you destroyed. As the next logical step, I need you to install this beacon within me so we can use it to our advantage. Honey, we don't even know what it's capable of. You can't just, like, 
Are you sure? While there's only a 78.3% chance that I'm correct, okay. I'd like to point out that it's the only lead we have. I mean, the fact that you analyzed it to that hardcore, damn, I bet you would have aced statistics class to the extreme. Let's just hope it's safe. I share your sentiment. You'll cool. need to use a robot workbench to ensure proper installation, and my presence will be required. To maintain peak efficiency, I strongly recommend that we remain together until the radar beacon is successfully installed. Alright, so in that case, I'm going back to Sanctuary Hills because we definitely need to build that robot workbench. Not only for the beacon, but you know what? I'm gonna play with it as well, see what type of customizations I can do to Ada. Alright, Ada, so let me just go to the map here. Do this, do that. Alright. Why would we build a robot workbench over there? Alright, let's go to Sanctuary Hills and build that workbench. Perfect, so let me just press here. And... oh! Where would I put this robot workbench? Let me just... Mm, fuck it. I'm gonna put it right here. Let me just move this toy out the way. Alright. No? Is this not a good spot? Hey! Alright, Ada! Guess what? I got a workbench! Yo, why is she running like that? <laughs> Yo, why is she running like that? It's so cute. Oh my god. You're so adorable, you know that? Hey. Yes, ma'am. Are you ready to install the radar beacon? Does it have to be you? I could install it on a different robot. My memory contains more relevant knowledge than any new robot you attempt to create. Okay. I appreciate your concern, but I can assure you I won't suffer any harm from the installation. So, are you ready? Um... Time to operate. Just be certain you don't disconnect anything essential while you're rummaging through my circuitry. Once I'm in the robot workbench, just install the radar beacon and I'll do the rest. Okay, Ada. Alright, time for me to start crafting, I guess. Okay, so with the whole mechanism, it does give you the option to customize your robots, like how I'm doing right now. Got the radar beacon, that's awesome. Hey. What can I do for you? Ada. A moment. The modification was successful. New hardware has been detected and software is updating. And installation complete. Analyzing mechanist hardware. The radar beacon is receiving a strong encrypted signal, but I can't determine the source. Really? Do you think the mechanist knows we're tampering with the beacon? I've already added failsafes to ensure my location is secure and prevent any unintended commands the signal may issue. Unfortunately, one of that will help us determine the signal's source. It's a good start, at least. Absolutely. With some additional assistance, I should be able to decrypt the signal and locate the mechanist. Fortunately, I'm detecting another robo-brain in the Commonwealth that's receiving the same signal. And this is important because... I will explain. The encryption okay. on the source signal is complex, but not beyond solving. If you can bring me two additional beacons, they should provide the keys and algorithms that I need to enhance my decryption routines. The fact that you're so patient with me, Ada, it's like... I'm starting to really like you. Alright. Let's do it. I'm uploading the location of the Robo-Brain to your Pip-Boy now. Just be careful. These robots tend to travel in groups, so you're likely to encounter heavy resistance. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next time.